Am I saying fuck it and doing 12 videos? I don't know. I feel like I could just say fuck it. It's really only four more videos. Here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hi you guys, welcome to the first video of Live Fitness. I kind of wanted to start this video. Let's make sure I'm not flashing anybody, thank you. Clearly I wanted cozy vibes here in the robe next to the fireplace. I wanted to start this video just kind of venting to you guys and just getting out where, like how I've been feeling, what I've been thinking, where I'm at kind of mentally. Because I feel like I've been in a very different place mentally than I normally am. I really have honestly been struggling with a lot of different things. But really just I've been feeling very stuck recently in my life. I've been not feeling very confident. But it's interesting because there's been times in my life where I haven't felt confident. But it's more so like with my looks. And to be honest, I haven't even really been caring about that at all, pretty much, which I'm super thankful because I feel like that has consumed me on and off for many years. But it's more so just like in my abilities, if that makes sense. Like I'm starting to feel more insecure and inconfident with, is in, un, inconfident, unconfident, is that a word? <laughs> with my abilities in regards to like my career and like to be successful in however way you define that with my definition of success, I guess. And I know that my worth and like my inherent value and worth has nothing to do with, you know, my skill set or with my looks, like with any of that. I know that's all surface level, level ego. Like I'm inherently worthy and enough just from my soul. I know that. But just lately, I feel like my egoic mind has been winning. And today is just like, I want to put an end to that. And I want to just like realign. And I feel like what usually always helps me get out of slumps or feeling this way, even though I've been feeling like this on and off for like a few months now, but I feel like what helps me so much is goal setting. I'm a person like who's very big on goal setting. I love just getting refocused. I love having a clear direction and path. Like it really grounds me. So today we're going to do some goal setting together. If you would like to join me, I would love for you to do that. I wanted to make this video now like the first one in the Lift Fitness series so that you guys can kind of marinate on this, sit on it for like a month, get acclimated, get ready for the new year and like be able to mentally prepare. So while I was in the shower yesterday, I thought of the different categories that I wanted to do. All right, starting point, here we go. 2024 goal setting, let's do it. Category number one is going to be health, health and wellness. I already forget what all the categories were. I wrote it on the shower mirror in the condensation on the glass. Okay, health and wellness. Okay, final list. So we have health and wellness, career, education, financial, spirituality, travel, relationships, and hobbies. So something that I want to keep in mind because I'm notorious for this, I tend to, you know the saying, you bite off more than you can chew? When it comes to goal setting, I'm like, oh yes, I think the more the merrier, like the more you write down, the better, like means the more driven you are or the more you're going to achieve, etc. But like how many times do we overwrite a to-do list for the day and we think we can get all this done in the day and then we don't and then we feel defeated when really we just had like unattainable, unrealistic expectations. That's kind of what I feel like I do when it comes to kind of goal setting, especially like New Year's resolution goal setting. So I kind of want to just think on a more, not in a way that I'm like limiting myself, just thinking more on a realistic scale of like, okay, what are some things that are actually attainable within the year? And two, another huge thing when it comes to goal setting is really thinking about what you truly actually want, like what you actually desire. I feel like a lot of us want things just because someone else wants that thing. So we think Think we should want it or we think we should want something because we think that other people want us to want it it just kind of sets you up for failure like with in order for you to actually really have that intrinsic motivation to actually follow through and achieve something like you actually need to want it for yourself so i think first step of all this is to really sit in silence and ask yourself like what's something that what do you actually want? You know, not what other people are telling that you should want or not what other people want. Like what actually resonates with you in this season of life? What feels aligned with you, with your soul, with your highest life path, I think is a very important question to be asking yourself. Before we get into the goal setting though, I'm going to flip the page and I want to take a second to reflect on 
things that I feel proud of from this past year so far because another thing that I've been feeling lately is I just feel like I've been very very hard on myself and I feel like nothing I do is enough I haven't been doing enough I like nothing I've accomplished is like anything worthy I don't know I just feel like I've been so hard on myself lately and I feel like I just completely haven't even been acknowledging my wins and that's contributing to me feeling so shitty. And this doesn't have to be career oriented. I kind of am taking this in like with everything. I'm just gonna write a master list of like things that I'm happy with from this past year that was kind of like a shift or a change or an improvement and evolution, etc. So number one that I'm like so happy about because I feel like it took me, I've been wanting to do this for years was launching merch. Like that was such a big thing for me that I always seemed very far off. So the fact that I followed through on that, did that, designed it, finally found a graphic designer that I really resonate with is like huge. So I'm even gonna write down found a graphic designer because I feel like that's so special and I'm definitely planning on using her for other projects in the future. With that, I also launched stickers. So I'm also gonna write that down. I greatly revamped my website this year. I learned a lot of how to better use Squarespace. Like I'm doing that all myself. So the fact that I have learned that and like increase my skill set is huge. I'm also writing that I learned more about like how to run an e-commerce business and I know that sounds dramatic but like I've learned so much this year with just like shipping things like how to ship packages affordably like for an e-commerce business, how to take orders, figuring out how to properly package things, finding like a printing company, a service to actually print my merch and all of that, shirt materials like I feel like the difference of different shirt printings as well between like digital printing or screen printing I feel like I've become way more well-versed in all of that, which I'm proud of. I love when I'm learning new things. Ran my first ever retreats and I did two of them. I feel so proud of myself for that, of just taking on that leadership role, like really going in blind, doing it completely by myself, like the hosting parts. Shout out to Yvonne. Yvonne was our tour guide. God bless him. He helped us so much. But I mean, the actual like retreat components was all me and I... I'm very proud of myself for that. And of course the girls that were there were truly so kind, genuine human beings that totally obviously helped all the workshops be what they were. With that, I lived in a foreign country alone for like almost two months, Costa Rica, in case you are unaware. That was definitely a huge thing outside of my comfort zone. I learned a lot. I was, oh my gosh, I was a guest on a podcast for the first time. That was the I Missed Me podcast, in case you wanna watch it. That was also very exciting and definitely a first time thing for me. This may seem like a weird one, but I've gotten into reading fiction books and I feel very proud of myself because it's like a new hobby. With that, I also definitely read a few, I don't know how many, but I've, re I've read self-help books this year, which I'm proud of. I did have the chance to work with a manager this year, which it didn't really last too long just because it wasn't really a great fit but it was still a very good experience just to see what that would be like. Also, a huge thing for me was when I received that PR package from Alphalete that was super surreal. Even though it didn't really lead to anything more than that, it was still just a very cool moment. I also really had some great um, brand deals this year. Camo Fitness was my first sponsored, like, dedicated video, so that was really cool. And then I think last thing I'm gonna put filling 12 seats for my Bali retreat next year. That is also something to be very proud of and I'm so excited to have that new group of girls together. And I'm gonna stop here, but even like those things are very great things to be proud of and I just feel like I totally overlooked those things. Now we're gonna get into the actual goal setting itself. So where do I wanna start on this list? I'm very clear on my career and education goals at the moment. So I think I'm gonna start with that. I might also be kind of hopping around between these as well, just a preface. So for career, first and foremost, I want to host a very expansive Bali retreat. I want to make it even better than my Costa Rica ones, have it just have a greater experience, more in-depth components, more like group activities and exercises together to help you deepen on the individual scale through the collective. So that's definitely my first and foremost is to host best Bali retreat ever. I would also love to secure like three more seats so that we have 15 guests total. Um, I'm also planning on launching a challenge at the beginning of the new year. I've already started it, so I'm really excited for that. And then I also 
really want to do which i know i've been saying this for a while but i feel like since i've done my merch i've done the stickers my next project is to actually launch fitness guides so i really do feel like 2024 is the year for that i feel like i'm in the space for it now and it's just like the right time for education two things i definitely want to be since i'm a personal trainer it's kind of with everything there's still continuing education credits that you have to acquire every couple of years so i really want to do like a nutrition certification course to not only renew my personal training certification but also then to have more knowledge tangible knowledge credible knowledge in nutrition and then the next thing that i want to do which i might be biting off more than i could chew here slash underestimating the feet of these courses these certifications but i also discovered a course that basically allows you to become a certified hormone health coach which you guys know i'm very passionate about hormones and i just feel like i feel my best when i'm increasing my knowledge and i'm learning and i just feel like i'm expanding my skill set and my knowledge for health and wellness i really want to get consistent again with either yoga or pilates i was so consistent with yoga over the summer because there's free outdoor classes but now i kind of have fallen off of it just because i'm not a member at a studio or anything but i did ask my mom for christmas for either a bundle of yoga classes or a bundle of pilates classes so i really want to get back and to doing that once a week because i feel so much better when i'm working on my like flexibility and mobility also i have been very loose with my nutrition lately which i'm not upset about it i feel like it's been very good for me because there's definitely been times in the past where i've been super strict or very food focused or very overthinking what i was eating so i do really love where i am in this space but i just feel like i need to remember my health again you know like i know i don't know it just has been healing to have such food freedom recently but i also don't really feel my best physically not by the way i look just like my insides like energy levels all that sort of stuff because i just have been eating so much sugar honestly like i just feel like i could have a little bit better balance i feel like i've gone a little bit to the other way where i just kind of haven't been as intentional with what i'm eating so i definitely would like to clean up my diet a little bit more i've been having sweets like multiple times a day when i feel like it was a very good balance point to have like one sweet treat a day you know oh i also really want to get better at taking vitamins and minerals i just feel like i haven't really been having my health drinks lately i feel like i haven't even been consistent with my collagen so just all of that i want to have more health elixirs i feel very content with where i am with my training i love my balance between weight training and my full body functional circuits so i might keep it with just three for my health and wellness right now actually what i'd also want to put is i'm going to say less screen time which don't we all want this but i want to really be better about reading before bed financial i'm very private with this but i'm going to write like my monthly income goal i've been saving it for like my retirement fund fund but i also want to start putting money into the actual stock market so that's actually a very big goal and i want to contribute to that on a monthly basis oh my gosh another huge one under career is podcast guests which i already have a guest secured for early 2024 which i'm so excited to have her on i really want to update my whole entire podcast that's the other thing i want to redo the podcast cover art as well and just kind of have a subtle rebranding for the podcast for spirituality oh my goodness gracious i feel like there was a time there's the time previously where i just was so tapped in spiritually where i was hearing my intuition so loudly and i feel like i just haven't been setting aside enough time for me to be connecting with myself like i normally was so i really want to be meditating four to five times a week and it doesn't need to be long like just sitting in stillness for literally even five minutes is so much better than nothing for me it goes so so far like i truly feel like i'm a different person when i'm consistent with meditating like i'm way more patient way more aware way more conscious enlightened intentional just everything and i think i want to pray and like ask for guidance more you always hear you know if you need something just ask and i love the sitting in silence and the meditating to connect with yourself and like allow god to talk to you but i want to actually do more talking to the universe through prayer i use that term not in a religious way just in a way to communicate from me to the higher power and actually ask for guidance from my angels and all of that you didn't go to the gym What a rug rat. Could you do me a huge favor? What? Could you take me to Bear Brothers again? That's your huge favor? That's not a huge favor. That's pretty nice.
I'm filming. Say hello. Um, but yeah, that's not a big deal. See you shortly. Alright, I love you, boy. Anyways, and lastly, I'm gonna put spend more time in stillness. Okay, travel. We're freaking going to Bali, which I'm so excited about that. Since I'm already gonna be in that side of the world. I wanna also go to, I'm thinking Thailand in Australia. I'm not gonna set that in stone because I'm just gonna do like what makes sense. Obviously, travel's supposed to be fun and free-flowing. So like if something else comes up or something else resonates with me, I'm still gonna do that, but I would love to also go to Thailand and Australia, which is super exciting because I've gone to four new countries this year, which is huge for me. And so to already have like about three planned for next year is also very exciting. For relationships, the main reason why I wanted to write this category is because a big goal of mine is I really wanna be better about calling my grandparents. I wanna call them once a week and just doing it on like Sundays or something and just having it really be a part of my routine because I feel like I just always that's something I'm not proud of and I think that's something that goes a long way and so I really want to improve with that and something else I'm going to write under relationships with this is also painstaking self-awareness but I feel like I've been super loose with my tongue lately I feel like I just could be better about speaking more kindly to other people. I feel like I've definitely have been falling into like gossip. And I think there's a very big difference between like venting and like needing to seek advice about a situation and then just like blatantly contributing to kind of gossip with no productive end goal in mind or like not trying to seek advice. So I really want to rein that in. Like I'm just so not proud of that and I think also something a great way like a great way to live your life is to constantly be thinking like would I be okay if other people were hearing me say this do this etc not saying in the sense that you need external validation but it just like holds you more accountable for your actions what you're saying it's a lot easier to hide behind closed doors hence why so much hate is spoken on social media because they don't need to be held accountable for their words or their actions so thinking that like asking yourself that question would so and so be proud of this if they saw me doing this or heard me saying this etc goes such a long way lastly for hobbies i want to get more like creative like artsy like i feel like so much of my hobbies are already involved with my work like obviously what i do for a job in my personal life is so intertwined it's like really all the same so i want to do stuff like even more outside of that like i really would love to take a pottery class i would really love to try painting someone brought that up in my life Live stream the other day and I was like you know what I would love to try I want to stick with reading fiction books that's really a new hobby of mine and I love it because it gives me something else to do that's not screen oriented again I can't really think of any like active hobbies I of course always want to be improving my surfing that's like a lifelong goal for me I feel like I already hike when I can longboard wake surf when it's available to me and last thing I want to do for this very long goal setting segment I want to choose a word I'm contributing this to Katherine Manning on YouTube I've been watching her and she had like a word of the year so my 2024 word for like the theme of the year a phrase is really what's coming to me so how about we're gonna do a 2024 word and we're gonna do a 2024 mantra my mantra is most definitely step into your power because I just feel like I have been so not in my power in this session maybe I need to go listen to my old podcast episodes for sure, but I just have been feeling so out of my power for the whole like second half of 2023. I feel like the whole year started off with a bang. I felt so good. I was like, this is gonna be the best year yet. And then it just slowly declined if I'm being very honest with everyone and myself. So that's a very big thing for me. I wanna step into my power and just be more confident and believe in myself more. And my word, I think my word is going to be expression because I was thinking of like actions aligned action that I was thinking doing but then I arrived at expression because I feel like that seems way more intentional and it's more of just not me doing things for the sake of doing things it's me expressing just myself what I believe in my values what I'm going through and it still has this like actionable component within it I feel like lately I've been overthinking everything and have been like you know the saying paralysis by analysis which has been preventing me from taking action on things so I just want to be more in an action state without thinking so hard and just like living my life and documenting and creating it and like doing what feels right in the moment and creating it and pushing it out so I feel like expression kind of accurately portrays that vibe okay good work you guys now all that's left to do is just to freaking do the dang thing. As you guys heard on the phone, my boyfriend called me because I need to take him to pick up his car that is at the shop right now. And I think I'm afterwards, I'm gonna go to the gym, but I think I'm just gonna walk on the treadmill and I'm gonna wear, you guys, I literally just wore one of these sets 
yesterday in purple this is from camel fitness and it's so comfortable and like the days that i don't want my body to be on display it just is it's so nice i just i love it i forgot i actually made a youtube video already but i just love it so freaking much i do still have a code with camel fitness it's just live, live fit if you want to save some extra money and also support me the new train i've been on this winter are earmuffs like they're so cute they're such a vibe i'm wearing my like nicer coat to the gym today but because i want a long coat i think they're so cute and they're so practical because when my when i want to wear a hat like my hair is already dirty but then i don't want to wear my like leave it down because my hair is dirty so i like that i can keep my hair up in like a clip but keep my ears warm they're so cute i found these at tj maxx bye Nettie. I don't know why I never thought to set up my camera there before, but I just went for a walk and I decided to go for one just outside because the sun was sunning. It was just nice out. Speaking of feeling so shitty, it helps me so much when I'm outside more and I think also the reason why I've been feeling shitty is because I just haven't been able to spend more like quality free time outside. So I drove to the gym just to not go inside the gym. But you know, I wonder if this will stay while I drive. I guess I've also just been feeling like no one cares has been like another thing that's really been affecting my headspace. And I know that's such, I don't know, like a part of me feels like it's literally just all mental, like just totally speaking on behalf of like so much of our problems and issues and stuff are just like these mental perceptions that are honestly most of the time not even real. Or I should just say that they're just like made up illusions essentially because i feel like i could be living this totally same rea same reality but if i had a different headspace around it i would totally think it's a whole different like area of my life if that makes sense like a part of me is frustrated with myself because i feel like it's just simply my perspective on things like how i'm looking at things and that's what's making me feel like my life's falling apart and that like i'm failing at everything and no one cares but I, at the same time i've been struggling so much to get out of that headspace again i'm not saying any of this stuff for like pity i know i'm so unbelievably blessed but at the same time, everyone's like, everyone's experience is valid. And I, that's like been my biggest pet peeve lately is seeing so many things online of being like, oh my gosh, she sounds so out of touch, et cetera, et cetera. And the like, it's like, or they're just in a different life experience as you, like they have a different reality and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, no one has a right to invalidate someone else's experience. So I know I'm super blessed. I know I don't have like any real problems. Everything's okay. I just feel like I'm definitely experiencing like a classic lull of like feeling lost in her 20s, essentially. Dude, I've been so obsessed with this song for no reason. This is lunch. So I just have some ground beef with some homemade taco seasoning. And then I have some organic spring mix, half an avocado, some mango salsa. I wasn't even filming it, sorry. And then also some tomato. I love tomato with my taco bowls. This is so bomb.com. Mm. I would have tortillas, but I ate all them previously. I think I also decided I'm not going to put a label on how many days of lift fitness there's going to be because I feel like I've been so indecisive going back and forth between like should I do 12 days of lift fitness, 8 days of lift fitness. And I think I'm going to leave the 12 days of lift fitness like intro. I've been like having so many more ideas with videos now and I don't really, I don't know, for some reason thinking about sticking to like a very strict schedule is like making me anxious for some reason. So I think I'm going to have like a tentative lift fitness schedule, but I think that's what I need to do. Because I've been going back and forth for like a couple weeks now. Like, do I want to do 12 days of lift fitness? Should I do full 12 days? Should I do eight? Blah, blah, blah. But now since I was brainstorming, I was like, now I have so many ideas. I just feel like I'm in the space where I need to not try so hard and think so hard about what I'm doing. And I think not having a strict schedule for lift fitness is like a part of that. You know, this felt so good to vlog again. I feel like that's the other thing. It's also a vicious cycle because when I start to feel low, that makes me like not want to vlog and like create content. But then when I don't create content, like this is what makes me happy. So when I don't do that, it contributes to me feeling like crap. And then I keep feeling like crap, which makes me not want to film content. And it's just this vicious cycle. You know what I mean? So this was so nice chatting with you guys today. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. Stay tuned for Live Fitness. I feel like I'm rather unorganized this year, so we're kind of just gonna go with the flow. I have video ideas written down here. I'm gonna shower though, and then 
edit this. I feel like having like cozy work vibes. So that's what we're gonna do, do some computer work and then edit as well. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.